welcome back to The Sims 4. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As you can see, we've got a version of Henry VIII, one of my personal favorites, even though I don't quite have his crown. And yeah, we're going to be testing out some new custom content that I downloaded. I'm still not sold on the idea of playing a medieval game in The Sims 4. I just don't think I could reach the levels that I have in The Sims 2. But I like a lot of the content and I just wanted to see what it all looked like. So really quick here, I'm going to yank off everything else so we can see, I guess he can keep his shoes on, I don't want to look at his feet. So we've got this little outfit here, quite a few different colors, patterns, all of this is not perfectly Tudor, I just kind of downloaded things that are passively Tudor, or in the case of women if they had a square neck. I did download some armor. I like that. The slashing? That's pretty cool. This actually reminds me so much of a Henry VIII armor that we have that survives. I actually have leggings that look like it. It's supposed to be Jamie Lannister, but I don't know. Maybe it was modeled after that. It's a little patchy. Some proper night shirts, even though I'm not going to be changing that in my 100 Babies Challenge. These two I already had. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Okay, he has no legs. I actually have this in The Sims 2 and I love this outfit. I have this one as well. Okay, and that's a little eh, but that is cool. I don't know if it's just because he's an overweight sim, so it's distorting. No, that's still... That is super cool, though. We got a jester! <laughs> Love that. Okay, so there's quite a few different options. I'm pretty happy with what I see here. I don't think I downloaded any hair. Um, I downloaded shoes, though. Not many, because there isn't a ton. Okay, really quickly, I think we're going to have to put him in something else or just take that off. So I downloaded these boots. These kind of slouchy boots. Slouchy boots, slightly, slightly different color. Those. And those. I really just downloaded clothes and hats and shoes, which... Hats. I may have only downloaded... Oh no, I downloaded quite a few. So we've got some helmets. I don't know why that's showing custom content. Some floppy hats. Coif. Jester hat. The Henry VIII hat that I already had. That's for braids. I decided to include the musketeer hats. Don't judge me. Apparently I have a supreme hat left in there. Alright, and now let's look at the ladies' clothes. Hello, Lady Henry VIII. This might be harder because I've left a lot of my regular CC in. But I downloaded some hairs, mainly because I wanted to try out the hoods. So, again, some armor, squipes, the hats. But what I also downloaded were... Hoods. Really quick, let's change her hair to something that doesn't clip so bad. Anything that doesn't clip so bad. I don't want her to be bald, that would look weird. How about that? Does that... Okay, the part is totally wrong, but like... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, okay, okay. I downloaded other hoods. I wonder if they're in hairs. But I downloaded the Nun's Wimple and then the Abbess Wimple. Are they hairs? 
I swear that I downloaded them they were with hat, hat sliders. I'm gonna be so mad if they were broken. So think that's what makes me mad about The Sims 4, is broken CC. Because it breaks it every time and it's so frustrating. Yeah, they're not not loading. That's fine. We're gonna let's actually take off your Abyss hat, as cute as that is. Let's check out the clothes. Because this is what I'm mostly interested in, is getting the fact that I could just get a couple different outfits with a bunch of recolors and it would work because I can do different patterns and things. Like look how many different colors there are and it's patterned. So they're different enough that it wouldn't bother me to have multiple sims wearing this dress. I also did break and download some Elizabethan stuff. Because if I did play it wouldn't be perfectly Tudor. I would just be doing my best. Because <laughs> you kind of have to with medieval gaming. You, you have to. You can't. There's just no way. <laughs> you can see I've left some of my regular CC on accident. So I've got like night dresses. I did put this in even if it's Rococo because I love it. Don't judge me. I really like this one. There really wasn't as much as I expected though, which was surprising for me because I thought that there would be so much CC because this game really lends itself to custom content, I think, with the fact that you can search and all that. But yeah, there really wasn't. I don't know if it's just because the medieval simmers are really in The Sims 2, like that's our wheelhouse, or what. I'm curious if maybe it's... I wonder if they're in, like, glasses. Could they be in glasses? I'm just really annoyed that I can't find those. Oh, I did download some necklaces too. Uh oh, let's change the dress. Which, again, is simple, but effective. I guess, I guess they're not here unless these are them and they just... I'm sad, I'm sad that they're not working because I was so excited to try them out. Because they were French hoods, but they were a lot tighter. I mean, this one's cool too, but this is literally a Sims 2 mesh. Which I feel like they just look a little wonky in this game. So apparently I downloaded flowers on accident. It's cool. Cool. Things happen. Not worried about it. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little interlude of me testing the waters with Sims 4 CC. It was mostly the hoods that aren't working that were the things really tempting me. But, I mean, I am tempted by the I could just do, like, a photo-only neighborhood, like, not where I'm playing. But I don't know how entertaining that will be for me. But we'll see. I just wanted to play around with what I downloaded and see how it looks, how it functions, and now that now I've done that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any idea where I can find the shorter hoods that I'm talking about, I can actually show you them because there's a house in the gallery. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you download especially Tudor CC. Really here for it. Um, I'm not looking at this time for buy mode or build mode, just because I'm really not sure if I'm going to go through with creating some type of medieval neighborhood. Okay, here's some of them. So there were, I think it was T-Moon made them? Come on, load. There were some gable hoods, and then there was some uh, French hoods. So you can see how the French hood's very low. And then we've got these gable hoods here. Also, I can't find these hats. 
and I know that they're somewhere. Somebody even created a new Henry. Interesting. And there's more wives. I'm just nosy at this point. I always check out this tag. Yeah, not a redhead. That's a new one too, but yeah. So if you know where I could get that CC, or if you have it and are so inclined to send it to me, if it's not broken, I would definitely appreciate that. I might give the creator a shout just to let them know it's not working and if they could possibly fix it or if they would be okay with somebody else fixing it. Also, that dress on Anna Cleves, I wasn't able to find. Or that head headpiece. So yeah, uh, leave all that in the comments below if you have any suggestions or tips. I would definitely love to hear from it, especially if it's more easily to customize medieval style than I'm thinking. And I will see you guys in the next one.